Hi there, it's Jeff. In this little video, I'm gonna show you how to do scribe joints. Now these can be used on internal corners for your skirtings on your floor, or in my case, in this project that I'm doing, dado rails or chair rails. So keep watching and I'm gonna show you how to mark out and cut these scribe joints to get a nice, perfect, tight fit for internal corners. Okay, to begin with, uh, I've already got uh, one piece that I want to put here that's tucked right into the corner. The other piece I'm going to have, I've made it over, I've cut up just a bit of an off cut, this is a bit of oversize. And you want to cut a miter joint as if it was going into the corner like a miter. So come in here and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, that might be a little bit better, you can see what I mean. So. I've just cut it on a miter as if it was actually going in the corner like that. You just do a, a miter joint as you can see there for that one. The next step is cutting this out using a coping saw. So come follow me and let's do this next stage. I'll show you how to do this and then we'll fit this uh, joint. Okay, before we begin I'm just going to show you I'm going to be using a coping saw. And these are really good because they can get into tight places and, and turn. Uh, a lot easier than um, a conventional saw blade and what I'm going to do is be taking out uh, in sections just to make it easier for myself but the idea is to use uh, this line that's left you could say off the off the miter we want to leave that line on but cut everything else out so you'll see what I mean when I start cutting and this is obviously going to work if you're doing skirtings on your floor uh, or chair rails or dado rails like I'm saying. So let's get to it. Make a few cuts. Okay, just every now and then just stop, just take your time, offer it up, the other piece, just see the gaps and just have a look, eye it out, see what needs to actually come out. I'm going to need a little bit more out of here. 
Okay, and a little bit out of that corner. Should work out. Let's have a look at it on the wall. Okay, I've got my scribe cut here. Time to do a test run. See how it's going to go in there. And that's going to be pretty good. Not too bad. Next thing I'm going to do is just mark it off at that architrave where it ends. And then I'm just going to do a, a 90 degree cut. And I'm done. Okay, that's cut to length, hopefully. Let's give it a little bit of a test fit. Okay, that's gonna be nice and tight. I won't push it all the way till we have the glue on it and we'll nail it in place. Okay, let's go. Well, there we have it, the nice finished scribe joint there in the corner. It came uh, very good, I'm really happy with that, nice and tight. Uh, I've just covered up the nail holes with some uh, putty. And don't worry if you do have um, some gaps there in the corner, didn't come out perfect. You can also use some gap filler and with some paint as well over the top. This is still gonna be painted as well, but with some paint, it does cover up. The advantage with this scribe joint is that it's gonna be nice and tight and it won't crack or give way in, in the future like a normal mitre joint in the corner will. It'll always crack and move. Um, this is gonna be a lot more tighter and it's gonna stay um, a lot much neater, uh, especially in the future. This is part of my um, project that I'm doing in my house at the moment with some uh, the dado rail or chair rail and some wall paneling. So keep an eye out for that video coming up. I'm gonna show you that uh, feature in my hallway that I'm uh, in the process of, but just sort of stop and show you this um, technique of scribing um, chair rails or data rails. And it also works for uh, your skirtings as well. Well, that just about wraps up this video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe so you keep up to date with all the latest videos that are coming out. And hopefully, I'll see you in one of my next ones.